But there's a cool little story associated with this. This picture went around the world. New York Times, Papua New Guinea, Gazette, uh, UC Colorado which was in business, right, 1965. What's the paper? I stepped up. Yeah, okay. What is it? The scribe. Yes, it was on, I'm sure it was on the cover of the scribe for kind of what. Uh, there's a problem. And these people noticed it by looking at the shadows. <laughs> oh, doggone it. I think I double skipped. Oh, yes. Yes, okay. We're going to try to go backwards. Well, we've left Mars. <laughs> okay, wait, we're going to go back. Okay, but don't stop here. Enough to swim up. So, the sky on Mars is not blue. And they, apparently they realized this sort of the next day, Thursday afternoon. And this discussion was, what do you mean it's not blue? It's a planet. And then the other guy at Jet Propulsion Lab says, but it's, it's a different planet. <laughs> so apparently by looking at the shadows, they noticed that the shadows looked wrong. The shadows were too blue. And that's when it occurred to them that they had done something with the electronics to mess up the color of the sky. And let me just tell you, are there any geologists here? The color of the sky is quite, it's quite significant, because geologists, the first thing they want to know is the color of the rock. And by the way, geologists with the rocks, I mean, I, I guess if you know any of them, they're just walking around like this. <laughs> Huge fan. But, uh, 